welcome to Sustainable YXE. Today we're going to be doing a very simple um, low waste household cleaner. I'm joining you on behalf of the Saskatoon Public Library from my home, which is located in Tree Six Territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. So for today's uh, activity, you only need a few simple things and really this this is such an easy thing to do. Uh, I do it at home all the time and everyone in my family uses it all the time. It's pretty kid friendly. Um, yeah, so the first thing you'll want is uh, some fruit. Step one, eat some citrus fruit. So lately I've been, we had a bag of these small oranges. And what we do when we have uh, maybe a, a large amount of citrus fruit is I just put a jar in the fridge and as we eat it we put the peels right in the jar and back in the fridge so they don't get kind of gross so you could mix them if you want to right now I just have the little orange peels in here but if you had uh, maybe some lemon peels you could put them in there anything citrus works really good because this is a degreaser the enzymes in the citrus peels help get up yucky grease off of counters and stuff um, so yeah you eat your your fruit you collect the peels in the fridge and then once your jar is full enough you should probably keep filling this a little bit more, but it really doesn't matter. Once your jar is full enough, you take it out of the fridge. And you get some vinegar. And you just fill it up with vinegar. So because I don't have this all the way full, I can maybe put a little bit less. And you could cheat and maybe, you know, squish in some more some more uh, peels later. You wanna make sure that your your peels are covered though or the top ones might get a little gross. So fill it to the top with vinegar, put the lid on, and then find a cool, dark place to put this. Um, I might even just put it in this cupboard here. And I could put it in here um, for a few days, but usually aim for about a few weeks. And just leave it in there for a few weeks. And then when it's when it's been a few weeks and you take it out, it'll look kind of dark, kind of orangey color, depending on what you put in there. So you'll see the liquid change, the vinegar broke down the enzymes in the orange. And then you'll just pour it into a spray bottle uh, and try to take, take out as many chunks as you can of the peels. If you get some in there, it's not a big deal. Um, so just maybe what we do sometimes is I've had some um, old bottles I've reused. Do you want to be careful if you're doing that though? Make sure it's not something that'll react with vinegar. So read your labels, make sure you know what's on there. But this is one of the, the bottles I have on the go here. So you can see the vinegar gets quite dark. Some people will dilute the vinegar. So they might do half of that mixture in the bottle, and then the other half with water. That's kind of a judgment call. It depends what you're going to, what you're going to be using it on. Um, so yeah, you can reuse a bottle like this or you can get your own um, glass or plastic bottles to keep using with the vinegar. And this works really good for greasy spills on countertops and most surfaces. Because it's vinegar, you might want to be careful on things like granite or maybe some not sealed wood products. And remember, it's not a disinfectant. So don't use that in place of something where you want to kill germs. But it's really good at um, surface cleaning. It smells really nice and uh, it's pretty gentle. So even if you want to let your kids help you clean, it's great for that. So that's that's how simple it is. That's a, a vinegar spray for cleaning. And then just a little bonus sustainable tip what we do at our house is we don't have paper towel. We just have this bin of microfiber cloths. You can use um, scrap materials really good for that. If you have maybe a bunch of holes in a t-shirt, you can cut it up and use it for that. So we usually just spray our surfaces with our orange vinegar spray and wipe them down with a cloth and then this goes in the laundry later. That's it. Oh, last thing. Anytime you're going to make a home cleaner, make sure you check uh, what it's made of, what surfaces it's safe for, um, should you be wearing gloves, should you not be mixing with things, and always put a label on your bottles, which is what I'm going to add to this one. Actually, I'm going to write on this before I put the sticker on. And the smartest thing to do when you're adding your own labels, which I highly recommend, is always list the ingredients just in case you end up mixing it with something by accident and you need to have help or look it up. So I'm gonna just write down 
orange vinegar spray. Well, in this case, those are the ingredients, but I'm still gonna list them. So I have my label here, it says orange vinegar spray, and then I have shorthand for ingredients, orange, oranges, vinegar, and water if it's been diluted. I'm gonna put your label on your bottle and you're ready to start cleaning. So thank you for joining me for Sustainable YXC once more. Um, and just like always, I'll put up some pictures of some local resources or books you can get through the library uh, that might have some other sustainable actions or home uh, or DIY cleaning products for the home. So thank you and see you next time.